Hello there and welcome to another Zero to Hero tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use Adobe Character Animate to create awesome animations just like the one you're seeing right now using just your face and your voice. And we're going to be doing all of this in just five minutes. Character Animate is part of Adobe's Creative Cloud Suite and it's designed specifically just for animations like the one you just saw. So whether you're trying to do presentations at work or create educational content, or you're just trying to impress friends on social media, this is definitely a good skill for you to have. If you need to install the software, there's a link to a seven days trial in the description. So now let's put five minutes on the clock and let's get right into it. So when you open the software, the first thing you see is this welcome window. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a new project. Give it an awesome name. So the first thing we're going to be learning about today are puppets. So this could be likened to your actors in a movie, they bring live to your scene. And they are normally Adobe Photoshop files or Illustrator files specifically designed for this software. So the software comes preloaded with a few puppets. And if you don't like any of those, you can always click on see more. And that will take you to Adobe's website where you can download a few more of these puppets. For today, I think we're going to use the soccer looking puppet because we're going to do a little soccer demo. Once you click on your puppet, it should be loaded into a scene. If puppets are actors, then consider a scene like a movie set. And everything you see in white here is your scene. And at the bottom right here, we have what is called a timeline. This controls everything that happens on the scene. And we're going to be getting into this in detail in a little while. All right, to the more fun part of things, how do we animate this character to make it more lively? One thing you would need to know is that puppets are designed with rigs. Rigs simply tells the software what part of your puppet is movable. So the very first way you can animate your character is by arming your webcam for recording. And you can do this by clicking on the webcam icon to ensure that it is blue. Once you do this, you should now notice that your character responds to your facial movements. So if you move your head, blink your eyes, move your eyebrows, the character should respond accordingly. If you also want to animate the lips of your character to respond to what you're saying, you want to go ahead and also arm the mic for recording. And once again, ensure that it is blue. Once you do this and start talking, the character should now move its lips according to what you're saying. And you can adjust the parameters of how your character responds by using the options right here to your right. But for the most of it, I found that the default works well for me. So the second way you can animate your character is using something called triggers. These are simply predefined animations that have been programmed into your character. And you would normally activate these by pressing a key on your keyboard. For example, with our character here, I see that if I press the Z button, he has been programmed to wave his hands. Additionally, when we press the T button, he's programmed to blow the horn. So there are several of these and depending on which character you have, the animations might be different. All right, now let's put this all together. I'm going to be showing you how you can record your scene. To do this is quite simple. Ensure you're at the beginning of your timeline by clicking at the beginning. And then all you need to do is just simply hit the record button right here. I'm going to go ahead and record a little demo. As I do the recording, I'll be pressing the keyboard shortcuts from my keyboard to trigger those triggers we just talked about. And before recording, it's a good practice to click on set to rest pose. Hello everybody and welcome to this soccer match. Today we're going to be having a lot of fun. Can I get a whoop whoop? And when you play it back, you're going to notice that it plays back everything, including the triggers. Hello everybody and welcome to this soccer match. Today we're going to be having a lot of fun. Can I get a whoop whoop? And if you zoom into the timeline, you would see the individual parameters which were recorded and you can edit them or delete some accordingly if you are not happy with some aspects of the recording. Now, let's say you already recorded your voiceover previously or somebody did that for you and you're trying to animate the lips to that. It's quite simple to do. You want to go to file, import and select your voiceover file that's going to be imported into your project file to the top left and what you want to do is drag that below to your timeline and then select your character once you have that selected go to timeline up in the window and then select the option to compute lip sync 
So this would also animate your character's lips to the audio that you just added. All right. So now let's talk about adding other components to this scene. Let's say, for example, we wanted to add a soccer pitch to the scene. We can do that by going to files, import, selecting the image of that soccer pitch, and then simply dragging it from our project file below to our scene. And voila, we now have a soccer pitch on our scene. Now, when you're done with your awesome project and you would like to share it, you simply go to files, export, and click export by Adobe Media Encoder. Then what you want to do is just give the file a name and save that. And then you hit the little play green button on the top and that will export your video and you will be ready to share it with your friends. And if we add a little bit of sound design, then our final product can look something like this. Hello and welcome to this great soccer match today. We're going to be having so much fun. Can I get a hip hip? All right, so that was all there is to it. As you can see, that was not rocket science. It's quite easy to do. If this video was helpful to you in any ways, give it a thumbs up by hitting that like button. And in subsequent videos, we'll be going deeper to show you things like how to create custom characters like the one you saw in the intro of this video. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That way you get notified next time I release a new video. For now, I think I, think I want to go play some soccer. Actually, I think I'm going to do that. Give me a second. Yep. I'm going to go play some soccer. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.